Hey, sorry I'm late, bro. It's all good, man. I was picking this up. Hey, homie. Hey. Another one. Here's another one for y'all. We took a break last week. We didn't do nada. Coffee on me. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just got paid. Yeah. We're in right now. Right now. This is, this is why it took so long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we here. Souped up the, the homie, uh, look, uh, young Mason. Uh, 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 young uh, Mason. <laughs> you do me a favor after church. Can we stop by Chase? Yeah. Pause this. I think it's on our way, isn't it? What? Right now? Do you have to go inside? No, I, don't, I can deposit. Oh, right, right. And, and the machine, right? Yeah. I think it's on, on Main. There's one on Main and, uh, right? Yeah. The one by church, Yeah. Bro. So I'll after take church. you. I'll take you right now. After church. You, you want to go right now? Nah. Why not? Why not? Because I'm pretty sure I have to sign the back of this. Oh, oh, se oh, oh serio, fool? Serio. Damn, fool. But yeah, man. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, you Happy know, Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday. Uh, Lakers champion. Lakers champion. 2020. 2020. Been Corona a long, champions. A long time coming. 10 years for me waiting. Um, it hurt, huh? It was a long. It was tough, man. Did you see that last game? Yeah. Did you cry? No, I didn't cry. It was. It was just. I, I was. You felt like the, the whole time. I'm thinking. Oh my gosh. It, Imagine like a game seven. Yeah, and Miami comes back even though we're up like 25. <laughs> I, I mean, I was I was not I was not sh I was not celebrating until the game ended because like I'm seriously like I mean when it was like 20 seconds left. Okay, I was already like okay, cool, cool. But uh, man, wait, I waited a long time, 10 years, man. 10 years coming. Um. So what now? How do we celebrate? Uh, just some coffee. Uh, Let's go to LA. Go to LA. Let's go do uh, uh, wheelies in front of a. Uh, I know. You see that? Uh, Staples. Yeah. That's crazy, That's man. Somebody could get hurt, man. If they mess up the, if they, if they, if they, if they, if they, um, if they can't, um. Man, Russell don't care, bro. Oh, serio? Serio? Oh, palabra fu? Palabra fu? Damn. <clears throat> what do you think? That'd be the worst GM. Huh? Uh, especially for running backs, I think. Yeah, two-year contracts. I don't know if you were saying that haphazardly or in jest, but two-year contracts for running backs is honestly oh my pretty. Gosh, bro. Oh, serio, bro. Everybody want that coffee. Everybody want that oh coffee. Hey, it's never been like this, huh? We always never. come here. Never. It's never been like. You want to go to Starbucks across the street? Where is it? Across the street. Is it the same? Is that? They have drive-through. Yeah, Let's they say, should have a drive-through. Let's try Starbucks. I think it's gonna be the same though. Hopefully not. Hopefully people are like, bro, it's Sunday. People don't have work today. Why is there a line for coffee? Or maybe we can walk indoors and order our coffee? You think we can do that? You think their lobby is open? Because it'd be a lot quicker if we go into their lobby. You want me to check? Let's see. Is it open? I wait. Yeah, it's open. It says no mask, no service. E but I got my mask. So. Yeah. So you want me to go walk in? Oh my gosh, I can't park here. Can I park here? Can't really do that. Oh, oh my gosh, I did that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, let me back up. I feel like I'm too close to these people. Look at that Benzo though. E Dang, that's some serial whip. Serial. Money. Money talks. That whip is serial. Money talks clean. Look at that, bro. Fresh. Serial. Alright, we'll catch you later. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Brian's wilding out right now, man. Brian's wilding out right now. Dude, I, I, I'm sure this guy is not happy right now. The Starbucks guy. Yeah. He's probably like, yo, it's crazy right now. Busy, right? So, I don't know. They gave us our drinks, right? Starbucks. And uh, and then Brian's asking, like, can we get straws? Can we get... And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, hey, can we get some straws? And the guy's just sweating, like... Man, like, he don't want to be there at all. Like, he don't want to. He don't want to be there, right? <laughs> and then, uh, and then Brian asked for lids, and I, I, I mean, I'm confused because this has lids here, but I don't know what it's. It doesn't about. have a lid for the straw. Oh, okay. So I can't put a straw through this. Can it go through here? Man, but that's whack. <laughs> anyway, so he's all like, "Can we get lids?" So I talked him, "Can we get lids?" And he just like over it, like. Oh, and then Brian's like, "No, you guys don't have those anymore." And he's like, "No." Like, dude, he's over it. Like, dude, there's, there's a lot of people in Starbucks right now, the drive-thru and everything. 
So then Brian's just like, you. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's what? Brian's what? <laughs> you just cussed at that phone. That was funny because of, maybe because Brian felt like that energy from him. Yeah. You know, I felt it too, but I was like, whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty funny though. To mix it up a little bit, you know what it is. <clears throat> you know what it do. Oh man. Damn, there's no comparison though. There's no comparison to Duncan. Ah, Duncan's cool though. But they're both cool. It just depends, you know, whatever has less people. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like that Duncan is, is bigger. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you get more for your money at Duncan. I like that you get like a fat, like 30 ounce coffee. Cause look, this is probably, this is a grande. But it's probably a, like a small at, at, at Dunkin'. Who there? Who there? I don't even know. Oh, Easy Keys, Pacheca. Damn, that's quite a good one. Serio? No, you. Come let us worship the king. <laughs> Can I? I don't want to park by the bushes. Teddy, why not? Because I feel like I want to have a lot of space to go forward, you know? But it feels like everything's taken over here. Oh, animado. I ended up. You don't have to park here. By the bushes, yeah. Modo. Oh, plebe. But at least there's shade here. Teddy. So you were saying about Armageddon? Um, yeah, I was just watching about Armageddon, end of days, end of times, um, <coughs> stuff like that. You know, I was watching a YouTube video, an Adventist, an Adventist YouTube video on Armageddon. Armageddon is only mentioned once in the Bible, in Revelation 16, 16, I think. And you know how people sometimes believe that Armageddon is going to be like you know the attack on israel or or you know a world war three or something but actually it's uh it's actually the war between god and 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 when he comes uh, jesus christ second coming and then there's actually going to be the enemy and his people that he has fooled and confused they're going to try to actually you know i don't know fight fight for, for the earth, I guess, or something like that. Like, there's gonna be people that are, I'm not gonna be too happy, you feel me? So, how's that, gonna, how's that gonna play out, though? Are they gonna fight in the Valley of Megiddo? Megiddo? You, Megiddo? Megiddo? You've heard that yeah, name, right? Yeah, they were talking about that. That's 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 an actual place. It is. But, uh, actually, it's, a, it's an actual place, but the word Armageddon comes from the words R mountain ghetto which is like um what is it called killing or death so there's gonna be death in the mountain so this is basically it's, it's a war it's gonna be a war between um angel armies and uh demonic entities and the people of this earth that have rejected christ and still think that they can defeat christ and take keep the world yeah, is that funny or what? Oh, it's, it's scary is what it is. Man. And um, you know, we had a Bible study last Sunday. Every Sunday we have a Bible study with Pastor, and he was saying that in the end of days, our worst, our well, I don't know about our worst enemy, but our enemy, obviously our enemy is Satan and his and his angels and stuff like that, and, and the people that they, that he controls and everything like that, but. Also, it's going to be former Adventists. It's going to be our worst enemy. Serio? Yeah. Then he, and then the Bible talks about Paul talking about that. There's verses that... There's a verse he, he sent, he gave us, where it, where it says something like... Paul talks about that, like... Yeah. You know... Oh, and there's also... Which... Listen, the enemy's real smart. Um, he, if, if I told you that, that 
you know, back in the days, he wrote books to make it seem that they were written by God's people. Would that be something that's smart? Yeah. Yeah, smart, huh? Book of Enoch. Because people say, why is that not in the Bible, huh? Why is that in the Bible? Hey, man, whatever is in the Bible is because God wants it to be there. Trust in God, you know what I mean? There's no secrets or nothing, right? It's not like God is saying, no, don't put that in the Bible. Don't put the book of Enoch in the Bible or I'll be discovered. He, This is not for him. He, he's going to win. He, he's going to win regardless, right? Whether we believe in him or not or want to obey him or not, he's going to be victorious. Like, uh, he is trying to save everybody, right? There's no there's no hidden agenda secret that that God is doing that, you know what I mean? I mean, so people might think, like, why is the book of Enoch not in, in the Bible? Um, and Paul talks about that. Like, whatever is in the Bible is because is God made it that way. Like, remember, a lot of people died for the Bible <coughs> to, to, to still be printed. There was, a, there was Bibles being destroyed, people being killed for, for even talking about what the Word says. So it took that a lot for the Bible that we have now to be able to read the Bible and have the Word. All right? What do you think? I think it's um. <clears throat> I think it's an interesting topic, man. Yeah. What's Armageddon? Of the end of times. False scriptures, all that. Yeah, man. He says there's false scriptures. And just like false prophets, right? Have you heard that the Bible talks about that? So obviously if there's false prophets, yeah, there's going to be false scriptures. That's just... It is, it, it is man. Uh, scary. You know Little Richard? Who's that? He's a rock and roll... He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He, he died this May, though. He died this May. But, uh... What did he, he say? He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and, and uh, his last days, he was a dentist. Little Richard. Was there a movie that came out in 2000 called Little Richard? An MTV movie. In 2000. That's called Little Richard. This is life, and how he... He... I mean, it's always going to be a struggle, like... Especially if you're in the industry to get out of that, to get out of that environment, out of that lifestyle, it's gonna be tough, man. But, but uh, you know, the only one that can take you out from the depths of darkness is is Christ and pull you out. You know, when you're so deep in certain things, only Christ can pull you out. You know, just gotta reach out, though. Yeah. Be like, nah. Oh, what do you think? God's always reaching out, man. You just gotta reach back. Oh day. no, that guy walking over there. Damn, that's crazy. They <coughs> all flew away at the same time. Like they all, they all like trust each other. Like, hey, that fool flew away, so I'm flying away. <laughs> Serio? Let's take off. And then they take off. Yeah, I follow this channel called Three Angels Broadcasting, which is an Adventist channel on YouTube. And then I follow uh, the, they also do the, the lesson there. So when I don't have a chance to read my lesson, I'll watch the YouTube video on the lesson. And it's, they're about an hour. But they an go hour? Through, they, they go through the whole lesson. Do you have your lesson on you? Yeah. Mind if I take a look at it real quick? <coughs> oh, thank you. Hey, got my you. lesson, got my, my sword. Gotta have your sword all at all times. You know what I mean? <laughs> all times. But uh Yeah man, this is uh end of days, end of hours probably. Um but we just gotta What's just, the date today? The sixteenth? Seventeenth. No, today's the sixteenth, right? No, the seventeenth. So today's lesson, for this week, the lesson is called The Eyes of the Lord, the Biblical, Biblical World View. So, I encourage everybody to read your lessons. We're almost done with our drinks, so we're going to go inside, but 
Y'all be cool. I'm done with mine, so we're just waiting on you. Lights. <coughs>